Now at 11, a judge rules Winston-Salem for Scythe County Schools violated federal law by discriminating against a little girl who has Down syndrome. Last year, school staff separated the kindergartner from her peers. The district then sent her to a different school. WFMY News 2's Alma McCarty is breaking down the judge's ruling. Six-year-old Quinn Cronin started kindergarten last year at Whitaker Elementary in a regular education classroom. But according to her parents, Kelly and McNeil Cronin, the school district had another plan. For several days, Quinn was removed from her classroom for long periods of time. After less than 10 days of Quinn attending kindergarten, the Winston-Salem Forsyth County Schools chose to remove Quinn from Whitaker Elementary and transfer her to another school where she would be assigned to learn in a segregated classroom only for children with disabilities. Quinn was moved to South Fork Elementary. The Cronins say they tried to work with the district, but that their concerns were ignored. They ultimately removed Quinn from public school and in November 2018 filed a lawsuit. During this, they learned the plan was never to have Quinn among her peers who didn't have disabilities. These are the most vulnerable children in our communities and this cannot be the way that we treat them. And we believe that all three of our children should be granted the same opportunity to succeed regardless of disability, especially in kindergarten. The judge in this case ruled that the school system violated the Individuals with Disabilities Act, failing to provide the kindergartner with free, appropriate public education in the least restrictive environment. Now the district has to pay back what it cost the Cronins to send Quinn to private school. Reps with the school system say they cannot speak on this specific case, but responded with a statement. It reads in part, the district takes the education of all students with all abilities seriously. We strive to provide an inclusive, safe community for a wide array of learners that enter our 80 campuses every day. The attorney in this case tells me parents with students with students who have disabilities should know their rights and understand the public school system is required to consider what you believe is best for your child's education.